are many, and none is more terrible than man. This spans the sea even when it surges white before the gales of the south wind and makes a path under swells that threaten to engulf him. Earth, too, the eldest of the gods, the unwilting, the unwearied, he wears away to his own ends, turning the soil with the offspring of, the, of horses as the plows weave to and fro year after year. The feather brained tribe of birds and the clans of wild beasts and the sea brood of the sea as he snares in the messages of his twisted nests. And he leads them captive, very skilled man. He masters by his arts, the beast who dwells in the wilds and roams the hills. He tames the shaggy maned horse, putting the yoke upon its nest, neck, and tames the tireless mountain bull. Speech and thought fast is the wind and the moods that give order to a city he has taught himself, and how to flee the arrows of the inhospitable frost under clear skies and the arrows of the storming rain. He is resource for everything. Lacking resource in nothing, he strides towards what must come. From Hades alone he shall procure no escape, but from hopeless disease he has devised flights. Possessing resourceful skill, a subtlety beyond expectations, he moves now to evil, now to good. When he honors the laws of the land and the justice of the gods to which he is bound by oath, he stands high in his city. But banned from his city is he who, thanks to his rashness, couples with disgrace. Never may he share my home, never think my thoughts. Who does these things? What marvel sent by superhuman forces is this? My mind goes in two different directions. I know her. How can I deny that that girl is Antigone? O oh, unhappy child of your unhappy father of Oedipus, what can this mean? What? Surely they aren't bringing you captive for disobeying the king's laws and being caught in his foolishness. 